In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a professional certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see at the top, I've added the low poly or the geometry abstract uh, background design background and then I have added the text which is certificate of appreciation. Again, this can be changed. All this is fully editable. You can just change the first and the last name here and you can add more details at the bottom and then here you can add the date and the signature and at the upper left I have added the company name and the logo you can just replace your own company name and the logo here so let's see what is the requirement to make this certificate we need the following in order to make the certificate I have downloaded one low poly image uh, from the net this kind of image if you don't find this you can add any image as you like and then we need certain other fonts which have downloaded free from the net and have used like a certificate font or the Arizona font or the add in Kimberg font or if you have any default font uh, from the PowerPoint itself you can use that also but I have used this particular fonts uh, to make the certificate so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide then go to design in the slide size go to custom slide size and select from the drop down a4 paper you can see here 210 uh, 297 millimeters select this one and let this be a landscape and just click ok so you end up getting this particular size of the slide and then go to view enable the guides I'm going to the insert tab shapes and I'm going to select a rectangle and draw the rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and right mouse click I'll just say edit point and you can see here there are four points and exactly at the center I'm just going to bring my cursor right mouse click and just say add point here and you can see this point has been added I'm just going to drag it upwards maybe till this much size you can see here and then right mouse click and just say smooth point here and then select the left one and just drag it up this also select the right and then drag it up so you end up getting this shape Again, if you want to do some changes, again, you can right mouse click edit points and then you can reduce or increase the size, something like this. You can do it. And then I'm going to insert shapes and from basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow. I'm just going to make a circle and you can see a small orange point. Just drag it outside. You can see here and make it maybe this much uh, thickness shape outline make it no outline and give some different color you can see here and then let me just zoom out a little bit and i'm just going to place this something like this you can see here that means i'm just going to cut i'm going to get one line like this so uh, with the help of the merge shape i will cut this one so depending on the requirement you can adjust the size I can reduce this one and tilt a little bit and I want to cut from here so only this part and then press ctrl D again I will just move something like this and I want to cut one more you can see here whichever way you feel better you can just cut it let me just move a little bit top and you have to make sure that this is outside of the this slide otherwise this area will also get cut so moved a little bit so as you can see here I one cut I'm going to cut from here and the other one from here and whichever requirement as per you can add three or four circles also so let me just do this one select this hold the shift key and select the inner circle first and go to format merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting this cut from here and again hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and then subtract so you got these two cuts 
and then you can directly go to a picture select this one and then just say insert and select the file which you have downloaded from the net or whatever the file which you have available in your PC. Now you can see here this is the image. Uh, now I'll just go drag it down, scroll down and then you can see here the rotate with shape. I'll just remove this one and you can play with this one. For example, I want this to go up further so that I can get the real image. You can see here. So something like this, you can do it. So now this image is done. And then next, if you don't want this one to be here, you can just simply select Control C, copy, and go to the uh, view, slide master, and then you can paste it here. For example, let me just paste it here. And just close it. And let me just delete. And so you can see here, you cannot remove this one. It cannot be moved you can see here so this is the simplest way you can uh, do the slide master and let's add the fonts for the certificates the text now to add the text let me go to the insert text box and I'm just going to type certificate here you can type in capital letters certificate and then make it center align increase the size and then as i said i have downloaded multiple fonts whichever font you like for example i want to use a font called certificate so you can see here you've got this font which is the certificate font you can see here or you can use it arizona All right, so let me just make it a smaller one so it looks better instead of capitals. You can see here or I can use this also certificate. You can see here this looks much better compared to the capitals and you can just put exactly in the center and then you can add one more. I will say text box certificate in capitals. I will type of appreciation. And this one, I'm going to use a font called uh, Open Sans and make it center aligned, spacing, make it very loose, and again, exactly put in the center. You can see here, this is a certificate of appreciation. Press Control D, we can just say. Again, the font, I'm going to make it uh, loose and proudly presented to. You can see here, if you want, you can increase the size a little bit. And then you can type the name, surname, or I'll just say first and last name center aligned and i'm going to use a font called add in or whichever font which you feel better you can see here and i'm going to change the color to this color make it bold and again you can put in the center and then you can add some detailed text. You can go to insert text box and just, I'm going to give some uh, Latin text. For that, I'm just going to type L-O-R-E equal sign, L-O-R-E-M within bracket one. You can see here, I have got this particular, and let me just reduce the size, center align, and I'm going to give some gray color. And again, you can add at the center. You can see here and then below I'm just going to add the date and the signature part. So let's go to insert shapes and select a line. Just drag a straight line by holding the shift key and here you can give the gray color or whichever line for example gray will be better and then go to insert text box 
and I'm just going to type date again select the same font which is open sans center aligned reduce the font size and put exactly in the center and select both of this go to format align just say center press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate and put it here and just say signature so you can see here almost the design is ready and if you feel that this white is not looking good you can just go here select the pattern fill and whichever pattern for example I like to have maybe this pattern with not the blue color but I want a light gray color here so you can see here our certificate is ready you can just simply print it in A4 size and if you want this certificate to be converted to a PDF file you can just simply go to file you can just say save as and you can just select a PDF file here and just say save so that will be saved as a PDF file and then you can give to the printer or if you have a printer you can just print this certificate. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.